What's going on guys? So today we are back here at the new Texas Pride Tilt Deck Trailer. This is my brand new trailer just built from Texas Pride. I absolutely love this thing. Now if you watched one of my previous videos you saw where I installed the Fort Knox locks on the coupler. There's one up here for the set bolt and then there's one down here for the actual coupler itself. Well, I have a different assembly right here, a different coupler for fifth wheel, but now I have a new one that I want to test on here as well. And it's pretty cool, so hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so you were looking at the 25,000 pound gross trailer weight rated Bulldog coupler. This is an automatic coupler, which means when you lower it onto your ball, this is automatically going to pick up and lock onto the ball itself. Very similar to how the goose box works. Now, in order for this to work properly and release it off the ball, you have to connect something to this lever right here. And I've already ran this quarter inch thick steel cable. It's actually eighth inch thick inside of here, but with the wrapping around it, it's quarter inch thick stainless steel cable. And it is going to be set right here. I've routed it up through some of the holes that were already in place to this spot right here. So once I pull on it, it'll actually help me release the cable. So that's gonna give me the ability to release it from the back of the truck as opposed to getting inside of the bed, lifting up, flipping it down, and having to manually release it. So the first thing I need to do is take off the locks from the set bolt as well as the coupler, and then I can remove this entire assembly. So anyone who's removed the gooseneck sleeve, this portion right here, or the coupler assembly, is pretty familiar with this, but if you haven't done it before, you simply remove this pin right here, and then loosen both of these set bolts right here, and the thing will just fall out. But the first thing you wanna do is loosen these bolts, and then take that pin out. And it's kinda of heavy, so watch your toes. Okay, so I've loosened the first one. That little plate right here is for the Fort Knox locks. That's what it clamps around. Just gotta loosen this one. Okay, so now that those are out, the only thing holding it in place is this pin. So I'm gonna pull this pin out, and you're gonna lift up slightly right here, pop that pin out, and slide the assembly out. Now installing it's the same way. I'm just gonna take my new one, slide it in right here, and I'm gonna go to my second bolt hole. and then simply put the pin back in. And this coupler comes with a new pin with a little cable attached to it, which I can really appreciate. So you get a brand new pin assembly with this new coupler. I'm gonna go ahead and thread my bolts back down. Like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bolt itself Now I'm gonna put the Fort Knox locks back on. And this assembly has enough weight to it that it's not gonna rattle around much if you're worried about it damaging the paint right here. I might put a little rubber sleeve or some neoprene rubber right here just to prevent that from happening, but I'm not too worried about it, honestly. And the folks at Fort Knox said that they have a different coupler lock for the bottom, but the one that I have for the one I already had, actually, fits it. Now in order to attach this cable right here, I'm simply going to feed it right here and I have this little lock that I'm going to use to put it on like that. So now all I have to do from here is pull. Let's hitch up and show you how the system works. Okay so the first thing I have to do is raise the trailer up. That is so cool. So now that it's up, I'm gonna back the truck underneath it and see how it couples up.
Okay, so I've moved around to the other side of the truck so you can see how the handle works. I'm going to lower the trailer down. There you go. Coming back here, you can see that the landing gear are off the ground. That's really cool. Now you can see that the trailer is a little bit nose high. And the reason why it's nose high is because I'm using my BMW ball, which is a little bit higher than the factory ball or the OEM ball, which comes right off the bottom of the bed. But to adjust this, I can raise the coupler inside of the sleeve, or I can simply take one of my other goose balls that I have, put it in, and it will bring it down about two inches, which is all I'd really need. Pretty cool setup, huh? And to disconnect everything, all I'm gonna do is pull on this handle like that, as it's lifting up and it will take it off of the ball. If you ever wanted to wonder what the perk of a hydraulic landing gear system is on a trailer, well there's your answer right there. You saw how quick that was? Anyways guys, that's it. That was a very simple install. I am going to raise the coupler up into there about two inches, basically the next notch, just so the trailer sits a little bit more level. I have it off the ball right now, that's why it's tilted back even more. But that's a pretty cool upgrade, and it's not that expensive. If you're gonna do it, it definitely makes sense if you have a pickup truck, simply because it's a little bit harder to gain access to coupling this old style right here, where you have to flip this down in order to lock it. This system right here just makes things a little bit easier, a little bit quicker if you're going to be hitching up or unhitching, and it's very safe as well. You can still use your chains and everything still works out the same. I might try some other styles as well. This is the Bulldog system. I know there are other really great couplers from companies like Gen Y as well as Reese, but this is a pretty cool setup right now. Just because I know a lot of you would probably want verification, I got it moved up one notch and it should be perfectly level whenever hitched up. Just got to refasten my two set screws, get the locks back on, and we'll be ready to roll. If this is something you're interested in, I picked this up from eTrailer. They sent this to me for review and evaluation. I also got my goose ball, the actual goose ball I have in my truck. That's set up right there. Got that from eTrailer as well. That is really cool because you don't ever have to touch a greasy ball. You have the handle right there, flips up, pulls out. It sits a little bit higher than your standard goose ball, which is actually about two inches higher. Gives you a lot of additional clearance if you have like a goose box and you need to be able to clear the bed rails of your truck. Guys, I'll put a link in the description of this video if that's something you might be interested in. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. We'll come back to you real soon.